Let me quote the attendance uh, your name, uh, Wu Jing, yes. yes. Zhang Yuan, Zhang Yuan, uh, Guan Yeon, Guan Yeon, Guan Yeon, Guan Yeon, Guan Heon, Guan Heon, not here today. Okay. Hmm. Kim Su Jong, uh, Guan Heon. Ah, Jibo Tobani. So your name? Nilu. Huh? N-I-L-U, Nilu. N-I-L-U? Nilu. Ni? Nilu. Nilu. Uh, so it's N-I, N-I, L-U, L-U. Okay, Nilu. Jibo uh, Toba, am I? Uh, your family name. Your family name? Yeah. You know, usually uh, when we uh, talk about the uh, family name first, we should put the comma, okay? And then your name. That's the way uh, uh, we see. So uh, if I look at this one, I assume that uh, Nilo, Nilo might be your last name. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. So it's kind of, uh, okay. Um, so today, what we are going to do is to talk about the uh, EndNote, okay? EndNote is one of the most powerful uh, tool that you can try when you uh, conduct research. So, uh, um, here, what I, let's take a look at uh, this one here. Uh, the reference. Uh, references here, and it talks about English teaching in general. So starting from the, uh, um, let's see, right here, okay, long time ago, okay, starting from, uh, uh, 1974 roughly, and to now. Uh, so what we do this one, of course, in the beginning uh, of the research, uh, we use this one. Uh, there are many benefits of using this one, but uh, I would like to narrow it down to uh, our or your research, uh, research say. And so right here, um, Let's say uh, I'm, uh, I, I, from this data, I wonder if there is something talking about case study or things like that. So for, the case, for that case, I put this one as the, uh, uh, as the any field, okay? And then maybe case study, case study. And so what? Case study and um, I'm teaching at a high school, let's say. Uh, then I would call also this one as a high school. So I wonder if there is any study done uh, in the high school context, and I can do such here. And so here you see a lot of data here, okay? so. Okay, developing L2 identity through blah, 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 blah. Developing L2 identity through the uh, Peljibani, Peljibani of learning. A case study of two students in Jeju Island, uh, like that. And so uh, we have a couple of relevant resources right here. So in the beginning of the uh, research, I can ask right here, uh, these are focused on the English teaching, so it's around 35,000 database here, exclusively. And so, like journals like ELT or like um, Korean journals as well. So it includes like a uh, couple of the, uh, uh, one of the most uh, authoritative uh, papers here. 
and so you see a lot of things here. So, uh, in the first, at the first stage of the uh, research, at least this can be a, a good platform. Okay, and so let's go back to uh, uh, all references and sorting the year right here and right here, year and so twenty one. Okay. Uh, case studies. Uh, nope. I just uh, wanna take a look at the see three uh, th thirty three uh, zero three one right here. Reverages. I wanna see all reverages. If I click on that, ah. okay. Let's mm, like that. And starting from uh, nineteen eighty and to twenty uh, twenty one. And so, uh, this is what I get, okay? This is what I get. And so, what you have to do as a assignment is this one, okay? And so, uh, uh, these are the uh, journalists, okay? These are the journalists. And I'm gonna assign the uh, journal uh, to you, okay? And so, uh, once you, you are assigned to a specific journal, um, what do you have to do, okay? Uh, lo let's go back to the end now. Suppose that uh, you were assigned uh, to collect the data from, uh, uh, from Let's see. Uh, at the internet, ah, twenty one, twenty. Okay, and so let's say uh, you are assigned to uh, uh, collect the data from here, and so if you take a look at this one, uh, attach file and blah 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 things. Uh, they do have a website here. If you click on that. If you click on that, it will lead you to the site where um, well, this is my assumption. My assumption is that uh, um, this kind of uh, you know the uh, things. Uh, let me let me. Uh, Close this one. Um, perhaps my internet connection here, I belong to a PKNU. And so if I uh, use the uh, LAN, LAN right here at my office, I will di directly go there. So every time I, if, I, if I click on that, uh, it will lead me to a specific channel, okay? But right now I'm using Wi-Fi, so that's why you know it, it does have uh, problems there, okay? And so instead of uh, going this one, uh, let me try another way. Uh, you know the uh, I want to go. I want to go. Okay, I want to go uh, to uh, PKNU, okay? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, your library, your school library, uh, might be the best spot uh, where you can uh, where you can try the uh, uh, such kind of uh, you you in, in intellectual curiosity and things like that. Although I'm using Wi-Fi, I can try the uh, uh, Bugyeong portal system. And if I click on that, log in.
so they are identifying me, okay? And so uh, I, I can log, log in here. And so uh, if you go to the uh, library here, uh, in our case, uh, you can do a couple of searches right here. And so you can do the general search or uh, for this case, I really would like to emphasize the uh, 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 academic database here. If you go there, Haksul DB, and so if you click on the W, uh, you can go to the Web of Science, okay? And so if you go to the Web of Science, uh, you can try many, many things. Uh, what uh, Web of Science offers you is the uh, SS SSCI journals right there. And so, a couple of log in here. Although I entered into the into the uh, university uh, library, I wonder what why it's kind of backing up and things like that. Web of Science, okay? Uh, there must be some direction about connecting the internet outside of the school by using uh, Wi-Fi, but uh, you know it takes. It looks like taking billion years and years and years. And so uh, instead of doing that, let me uh, just uh, do the uh, general search here. And so what I'm interested in is the uh, let's say automated uh, automated. Uh, written corrective the feedback, okay? Mm, uh, when I do the search, this is also another way of looking at the available data at PKNU. Oh yeah, here we go. And so, uh, talking about the uh, automated written corrective feedback, things like that, a uh, couple of articles are right here. So to collect the data from here to uh, uh, um, well, they just offer the uh, um, original journal, okay? And so or maybe the written corrective feedback, okay, let me click on that. And so uh, right here uh, DBP from you, you could get a full text from the DBP. Ah, okay. And so at DBP, uh, you know, uh, this one has the uh, download here. So if you click on that, you could download the, uh, the actual paper. Okay, and so where you could see it, download, um, every download should be under the section of the download here. Uh, so a couple of suggestions though. What I'm looking for, what I'm looking for is the, uh, um, the link, you know, the possible link to EndNote. So in order to do that, what you have to do is to go 
to the uh, okay let's let me uh, click on that Hangu Korean Design Association here if I click on that what you can see what you can see is the uh, uh, general list maybe and uh, uh, so you have to do do the some searches right here okay and so uh, well okay bingo and so uh, uh, talks about the uh, paper and uh, presentation and things like that but I don't think it looks a very uh, decent one okay so let me uh, do this one and if I go to the end note okay uh, I can also have an access to uh, that journal and so uh, uh, let me give you an example of the English teaching which, which is one of the uh, most uh, pre prestigious um, prestigious paper uh, in our society and so uh, It keeps on, you know, blocking and blocking and things like that. So, okay, if that's, that's the case, let me uh, try the uh, STEM journal here. They also do have a link there. Le let's see. Okay, bingo. And so right here, uh, they talk about the... Uh, okay, this, this is good. And so, uh, if you take a look at this one, uh, what you have to do is not only a single article, but uh, you have to go to the uh, whole section there. Uh, so, 영상, 영어 교육학계. And uh, let me see if they do offer full text with a series of the uh, publication here and things like that. They should have. And so, uh, okay, let me go here and uh, so rather than using a PKNU library, what I'm doing is the uh, okay bingo here, here here it talks about the information every information uh, there and things like that and what I really would like to go okay uh, they got a 523 uh, just click on that and so uh, uh, it talks about the basic information but what I'm looking for is the uh, uh, all of the uh, paper uh, published in STEM. So I need to do a couple of searches here. They only got here, but they should have, because if they don't do it, they will not get the fund from the, uh, from, uh, from, from where? NRF. Uh, NRF, right. So they require the publisher to provide all the journals uh, from the uh, beginning to the end. So they put the score there. And so... I think they offer the journals from their workplace. Right. You can also visit there and find them. So, okay. Uh, if I click on the uh, foreign language annals, uh, this is the uh, foreign based. Okay, let me click on that. And I should go to the, uh, ah, the foreign one doesn't work. Uh, okay, bingo. Foreign language annals, okay. And so if you go there, uh, they require, uh, ask you to do a couple of the uh, things. And uh, uh, look at that one, blah, 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 blah. And so uh, here they got the, uh, 51, volume 51, if I click on that, this one. And so, uh, 
you need to uh, find out the uh, what uh, the collection, the whole collection of the journal. And so, if you go there, uh, they should have they should have a link with uh, EndNote, okay? And so, the data, the EndNote data that you see is from here. And so, let's see. So you you have to do a couple of searches right here. You have to take a look at it and try to find out. Maybe, a, okay, right here, for, if you click on home, uh, the latest, latest blah, 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 and they should have the uh, whole list of the recent issues, volume, articles, and things like that, okay? So uh, if you click on that, more articles, okay? So if you click on that, they got here, let's see, they have the, okay, bingo. Uh, from uh, 1967 to uh, 24. Uh, in our case, uh, we do have uh, uh, 2021. So what we need is starting from 2022 to 2024 and go, okay? And so, uh, so uh, here you see the recent version, 2024 and 2024, blah, blah, blah. So what you have to do is to collect this one as a form of the EndNote, okay? And let's see uh, they uh, do provide such kind of uh, link here. Uh, 155 results there, and so uh, uh, free access, okay? Now, I need an article, so uh, uh, building collection, let's click on that. If I click on that, if I click on that, building uh, connections, uh, let's see, they do provide the uh, uh, reference link here, PDF here, we get this one, and tools and share, let, let me click on it, bingo. So here, export citation, okay? If you click on that, it will ask you uh, the format. I need the uh, EndNote, okay? And uh, type of import, direct import, okay? Download. So it says this one, okay? And uh, you see here, uh, should be uh, located at my uh, uh, download section. And so uh, I got one, and uh, let me uh, return. Uh, let me return, okay? Building connections, I got build, building connections here. Uh, uh, how about the Colligandum? Colligandum. Uh, okay, Colligandum. If I click on that, uh, Click Tools and Export Citation and uh, uh, EndNote and uh, Direct Import, Download, okay? And so the second data here, okay? And so uh, you can read and read and read and uh, uh, you will get the uh, recent version and uh, uh, if you like it, click on that. For this site, click on Tour, Export Citation, and uh, EndNote version, and uh, uh, Direct Import, Download. Like that, I got three uh, data from here. And so, uh, uh, in the EndNote, uh, I would like to make a new library, okay? And so if I click on that, uh, let's say, um, let's say my search, okay? My search. Uh, and click. And so you see uh, my search project is here, okay? And so right here, uh, if you click on file, 
you open library, open shared library, open recent clause, and things like that. What I want to do, I want to import the data, okay? And so uh, for this case, I write the import what? Import file. And from where? Uh, I need to choose. I need to choose. And normally download, at download, okay? You see three one that I uh, received. And so you have to do it one by one, okay? And so I can open it up. And reference manager, uh, mm -hmm. there are option, many options here, okay? Uh, let's, let's try the uh, reference uh, manager first and import. Uh, no, and so I have to try another one. Uh, what kind of uh, data am I looking at? I'm looking at... Uh, I'm looking at the download and I need this one. And I put this one. Reference manager didn't work at all. And so uh, uh, maybe I can do endnote library, endnote import. Okay, endnote import. I try this one, okay? And import. Okay, importing. Got it? And so that way you can do it one by one, okay? And so. Uh, that way you can collect the data, collect the, uh, collect the uh, papers uh, and things like that. And so in my search, uh, I can also do a couple of searches as well. Uh, E-Journal, EBSCO, um, since our university uh, doesn't subscribe this one, so uh, uh, not available here. Not available here, not available here. However, if you try the uh, Library of Congress, Library of Congress, it works fine. So make it any field and make it any field and you can do the searches. Like, um, like let's say a case study, case study. And uh, what I want to do, uh, case study, and then I can put the uh, uh, year, okay? I'm really interested in uh, books or papers addressing case study at the year of 20, 20, Three, okay, and so do the search, search, and I'm sure it will work fine. Uh, library, library of Congress uh, is one of the most uh, no reference selected. Okay, I don't think so. Okay, we got it. And so it searches. So what we are looking at is the data from America, Library of Congress. Okay, so it. Bring up the uh, uh, book, uh, mostly uh, yeah, electronic book and uh, things like that, okay? Year by 2023, okay? So it will bring you uh, available books at that uh, year, okay? And so considering this one uh, can be the... Uh, uh, can be the recent one, uh, it will broaden your search and uh, you can be provided with uh, a quite decent, uh, decent knowledge here, okay? And so, uh, so I just uh, uh, close that one. And I went back to uh, went back to English uh, teaching journal. Uh, from now on, what I want to do, what I want to do uh, is to link this one with MVBO. Okay. In order to do that, uh, you you have to go to the file. 
you have to go to the fire and uh, uh, okay you have to select first of all okay you if you need this one as a reference uh, uh, for your citation maybe uh, you can select this one and file and at this time we are exporting this one okay and so when you export the data right here at the file name okay and uh, file type you sh uh, you should put this one as a xml okay xml xml means you can connect any document with no format at all so you can connect excel and doc and things like that so uh, well and uh, uh, maybe uh, you can use name here uh, my search okay my search hmm. my search and uh, save it okay and then uh, if I click this one uh, what you can see is the uh, my search This is kind of weird. Okay, let me close this one. Okay, and uh, uh, end note again. And uh, I wanna, I wanna export this one. And uh, name right here and right here, Patanomen. Okay, uh, my search. I I can put the name my search here. And uh, XML. Okay. XML, XML right here. And um, APA 7s. One of the good things is about the output style. EndNote provides about 100 uh, output style. And so if you uh, subscribe your paper uh, to the uh, journal association, some place require APA style and some place require MRA uh, for the case of literature especially. If you use this one, simply one click, you can change the format. Normally it takes uh, about one day to sorting and typing and looking at the errors and things like that. But if, if you collect the data right here and note, Simply click and it will bring you right back. Okay, and so uh, normal. I, I would put it like APA sevens right here, APA seven, and let's save it. So if I save it, the uh, uh, at the uh, uh, right here, my search. Uh, this is X, X, what? This couldn't be. Uh -huh. What's the problem? Export. I want. I want to export. Uh, I don't. I don't need the uh, XML. Okay, XML. And right here, uh, save. Okay, XML. Uh, so what I try to do is try to have a. Okay, let me uh, choose this one. Okay, and then uh, file, and then I want to export, okay? And at right here, okay? And not text file, but I need XML. And let me uh, change the name. Are you okay? Are you okay? And so, export selected references, yes. Put the check mark, and uh, if you click on that, hmm, <laughs> I don't know what, oh, my search here, okay? My search. So, uh, this one is the X, XML version. So, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, is go to the, uh, 
let's close this one for a while. And do you open the uh, MP ball? Okay. And so uh, mm, let's let's just the uh, uh, create new project plus, and uh, I name it as my search. Okay. And so the location right here and uh, file name, okay, More, uh, sounds okay. I click next and step to create project. So I created a new project here. Uh, you can see start tour now. Click on that and my search Ambible, okay. And at Ambible, there are many ways of uh, managing the data. And so, uh, for this case, I would like to import one. So, uh, click on close and click on import and file and file where. And so, I have to go to the Patamamian. And so, right here, you see my search here. This is XML, okay? So, Yelgi, open, import. So I'm importing the paper uh, that I searched uh, so far, three or five. And so here, uh, file, my search right here, you see, uh, if I click on that, that's what I got. And so uh, uh, just uh, it talks about the record. So uh, talking about abstract and things like that, uh, you know, to see it uh, normally at the notch, okay, at the notch, at memo, uh, close, and so let's click on the notch. Hmm. Oh, this is kind of weird. Uh, it should be here. Uh, let me show you another one which uh, had. Uh, it should have got the notes. I don't get it. Okay, let me try another one. Ah, I'm sorry. Externals, okay. If I click on that, no. Hmm. I don't get it. So, uh, ah, ah, yeah, okay, I did the wrong thing. When I import, there are many ways of importing the data. Project and capture. And capture is uh, the one that you can do the social network analysis, okay? And files, just simple files. And survey, if you distribute the survey, you can Bring it in right here. And classification and bibliography, that's it. So for the case of EndNote data, it's not kind of simple file, but it's uh, bibliographic data. And so for the case of bibliographic data, Citavi, Mendeley, EndNote, uh, Jetro, Rapbox, uh, uh, most famous. Uh, database, okay, dissertation database. For my case, EndNote, okay. So if I click on that, uh, if I click on that, it will directly bring the uh, are you okay here? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, are you okay? Yeah. Okay, if I click on that, oh yeah, bingo. Import. So that way, uh, it will import the data, the data, okay? The uh, annual data that you just saw, and I got one, uh, I got 10 papers right here, okay? And so right here, uh, 
where I can see the abstract, obviously you can see the abstract, abstract and memo. If you click on the memo, uh, we have a, a papers that we bring it, bring it in. And so if you click on that, uh, you can see the abstract here. Okay? By looking at the abstract, uh, you can decide and you can think about uh, what's going on and things like that. So that way you can connect the uh, um, EndNote data with MVVO. Let me show you the bigger one, okay? The bigger, the bigger one. Uh, so that you can understand better about the, uh, this whole process. Linking EndNote with MVPO. And so uh, I can show you uh, I can show you the uh, the most recent one uh, talking about AWCF, okay? If I click on that, automated written corrective feedback, okay? Uh, when I did this one, I did, I did this one for the sake of the uh, uh, proposal, writing proposal, okay? And so, uh, you need to take a look at the data. File, on the file, uh, well, if you click on the file, what we got is 57 papers addressing, papers addressing AWCF. And uh, this one, Grammarly, uh, focused on only Grammarly. So this is what was going on. Uh, normally in writing class, uh, we uh, provide the students feedback, okay? So uh, it could be direct or indirect. And so people have been, have been argued about the uh, uh, which works best, which works worst, direct or indirect. Direct. So for 20 years, they argued the effectiveness of the mode of written corrective feedback. Uh, I wonder if you have an experience of teaching students writing? Who, 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 uh, yeah. Uh, so college students or kids? Uh, elementary. Secondary also. Elementary. How, how about? Um, high school English teacher. High school? Middle school. Middle school. So, uh, in your class, could you uh, te te tell us about the way you teach and the way you assess your students' writing? Um, students' writing? I follow the guideline from the public school public school office. So we have uh, like written, uh, we have, when we take a test, we have, uh, we need to take like 30% of writing tests and we get scores according to their grammar and grammar, and grammar and what? Vocabulary. Vocabulary and yeah. Uh. We we ask we we give them Korean text and ask them translate into. How about the genre of the writing? Um, genre like like if, like for example today I taught my students like relative close relative close and make sentences like. He, he went to the park where he found he, he, he met his friend. Like, uh, in the university context, when we are addressing genre in writing, mm -hmm. it's like opinion, narrative. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's not like paragraph level. It's, 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 yeah, mm. it's so that's why most of the research has been done 
uh, from the uh, university level. So in our uh, level, we do have a criteria, okay? Obvious criteria, 45 criteria here. And so uh, <clears throat> based upon that, uh, we are expected to assess. And the other thing, uh, in terms of literature, uh, what they use was not naturally occurring. Uh, writing teachers gave students uh, 30 minutes to write within 30 minutes, five for brainstorming. And uh, the writing should be at least four series in a semester, okay, with a new different topic. Reason why revision cannot be the sign of acquisition. So we should see the development from new pieces of writing. And from there, we see uh, students' errors, okay? And so, uh, um, okay, I think, th I think that's, that's very uh, uh, important thing. So let me uh, show you around. Uh, to have much better fit picture. Uh, in this campus, I've been teaching English from uh, English English writing for uh, for from uh, 1998 to uh, 1998 to up to now, and what you see is the uh, uh, recent one. Okay, uh, the recent uh, my writing teacher, my, 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 my writing, uh, the data, the file is here. If you click on that, uh, post-test and pre-test, uh, if you uh, click on that, uh, here there are genre, definition, narrative, opinion, and process. So those are genre. Uh, based class, okay? As you can see under the data, you see the uh, 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 students writing sample here, writing sample here, okay? Easy for Kim Min Ji. And so, every time when I assess, I should have criteria, okay? And so, uh, I put the coding here. So error analysis from my writing class, if, you, if I click on that, uh, the errors can be uh, uh, divided right here. Frequent, the most frequently occurring errors here, and uh, local errors, and the global errors. Here what the uh, global means, if a writing impedes communication, that matters a lot. We write to communicate. And if, if the meaning doesn't across, that's nothing. And so global errors talks about that. And uh, the local error, mostly about grammar and things like that. And, uh, uh, and also it covers the uh, content and organization and things like that. And those are the criteria uh, looking at the uh, student's quality of writing, it was found out that the most frequently occurring errors from my student are sentence types, mechanics, meaning, main verb, article, and agreement. Okay? And so, uh, I can show you many examples of using this one. See, the whole point is, you know, every time you see the uh, semester here, I do have a one, two, three, four series of new writings, okay? New topic. The region is based upon the scholar, based upon the literature. This is what they say. Um, they divide like that. Uh, L2 writing practitioner, in other words, writing teacher, and second language acquisitionist perspective. 
So the second acquisition is to believe that uh, in writing, it should be like experimental, okay? So it's like first writing, second, third, fourth, and it should be controlled. And also it should be compared with the uh, control and experimental group. So they divided uh, such kind of design. Uh, well, Rod Ellis can be uh, one of the uh, most leading uh, scholar down there, okay? And so, uh, uh, Ellis, Shane, Beechner, couple of articles, a uh, couple of the uh, uh, authors, researchers. So, uh, this is not my guess, okay? Based upon my, uh, based upon my reading uh, from uh, L2 writing instruction and theory, uh, they forced me that I should have such kind of design, okay? Uh, those are the uh, L2 acquisition, uh, acquisitionist perspective. And the other, the other, the other poll is the writing teacher, writing practitioner, okay? So they do have different position. For the case of writing practitioner, um, may I uh, return to you, to your experience? When you assess your students' writing, uh, what could that be? Maybe you, can, you ask your students to write something, okay? Although it's not the paragraph, okay? They write something there, and you give them a grade. You assess them based upon what? Okay, so uh, if you take a look at this one, uh, spring, for the case of spring, if I click on uh, composition one, uh, in the ambivo, you see code here, okay? Those are the codes, 45 possible errors that students can make. Jiu made, in terms of accuracy, uh, she uh, seven, okay? Uh, Jiu, Gong Subin, uh, yeah, Spring. And if I click on the second stage, I don't have anything here. Third one, don't have anything. And Yang Jack Po, anything. And reason why, it talks about now, okay? So we just have one. And if you click on the uh, 20, 23 uh, uh, writing, Definition. Let's click on definition. Jiu Winjie got 10 errors. And narrative. Jiu Winjie got two errors. Okay. In opinion, Jiu uh, Winjie. We don't have Jiu Winjie. Okay. And process Jiu Winjie right here. Two errors. So she started from 10 to Two, in terms of accuracy, okay? And also, we need to look at the uh, length. So for this case, 300 words can be counted as a 100 score, okay? And so that way, uh, uh, I provided the uh, grade score, like that. So uh, this is what's going on, okay? Uh, let, let's see. Definition, and if I click on the GeoWinGA, GeoWinGA, she wrote 315 words. So in uh, 30 minute uh, task, 
she got, well, 300 is okay, okay? So she wrote more than uh, 300, so in terms of fluency, she got 100. And, um, and in terms of errors, let's say uh, she got 10 errors, okay? So her accuracy score is 90. So 10 plus, uh, 100 plus 90 divided by 2 equals around 90, uh, 95. So her final, uh, her, her writing score for this, this one, definitely 95. Count the error by yourself, or um, so I think that's a good point. Uh, traditionally, um, the way I code, uh, okay, uh, definition. I got uh, I open up the GeoWinJ, uh, and then I put the I open up the code, okay, and so. Um, Let's say the MG generation problems a lot, and this belong to this error. I can scroll here. You see number is increasing. Yeah, yeah so that's it. Okay. Uh, this is what we call more like traditional uh, way of providing feedback. As you can see, uh, writing is a very popular uh, class in the university. A lot of students would like to take writing class. In TOEIC and TOEFL, they uh, recently add up writing test. So in order to be a successful person, no matter what, the, what their major is, they should write better and better and better. Okay? So, a lot of students rush to the write, writing class. For my case, for some cases, I got uh, 57 students to uh, be accepted in my class. And at the time, we had a limited uh, number of writing teachers. Actually, in the university context, full-time professor was not willing to teach writing because tons of thousands of work to do. So they try to avoid teaching them and instead of uh, teaching themselves, they just ask the uh, part-time lecturer to do it. So the burden comes back, comes back to part-time lecturer. I think that's most of the cases, but in our case at PKNU, we got four English teaching major professors. We have uh, very rich resources, and uh, except one, three uh, full-time professors are very willing to teach students writing. No matter how many hours it takes, they have a, they have a kind of mission. They have, they tend to believe that um, that's their mission, and I, I'm one of them. But the problem is only one. The other one, I think she is quite uh, traditional, typical way of person, uh, trying not to the uh, hardest work. And uh, instead of doing that, she preferred taking care of her baby. I do have a baby to take care of, but she has some kind of mindset. And so except her, we had a three English major uh, professors, full-time professors, professors. So because of that, we had a balance. So we limited the number of students in our writing 25 recently. But before, we taught and taught and taught, okay? So, reason why writing 
Yes, we have to think about the why, the reason why, why, why uh, uh, full-time professors normally uh, would like to uh, not teach uh, writing at all, well, because of a whole bunch of burden of the work. Then needs, then needs sacrifice. If I teach, if I teach writing, and I, if I spend time providing millions of feedback, look, I got one, two, three, four series of new writing provide the feedback. Okay, let's say I got twenty-five. It takes a lot of time. Okay, so that's why most of the universities. Uh, uh, for the case of writing, uh, we see part-time lecturers are involved. Uh, and also, I have to tell you about the, uh, my chance of speaking, uh, teaching writing uh, for high school teachers. And at that time, I think that was about 15 years ago. And it seems to me that they don't have any idea about looking at students' writing development. In high school, uh, they rarely teach writing or, you know why? Because of the sunum, okay? College entrance exam. In college entrance exam, there is no writing. And when students enter into university, no, no matter what their major is, they should be a perfect user of English. And writing is one of the functions, okay? So, problem starts in terms of writing, in terms of speaking, in terms of listening, which has been, you know, <laughs> disregarded in the curriculum of middle and high school. And you know why? You know why? No? Why? Again, because of the uh, college entrance exam and things like that. In Korea, uh, parents are very willing to uh, think about uh, their kids before entering the university. And once they enter the university, parents don't care at all. They don't think about the, uh, their, uh, their, their uh, children's uh, quality of education in university or things like that. Once they enter into the university, that's it. And they tend to believe that their uh, uh, kids are grown up and well matured and things like that. Then the problem is right here, okay? So students would, would like to be a perfect user of English writing or speaking or things like that in the university, but they have never been exposed to such kind of acquisition rich environment before they enter into the university, except Wego, Wego Godagbe, okay? They do have a curriculum, they do have a very strong based support, but for the case of uh, uh, general high school, uh, I know one, uh, one of my buddies uh, working in high school, uh, he doesn't care, he doesn't care because of the stress coming from the parents, because of the stress coming from students, he's totally burned out. So he used to tell me that I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> he just would like to do his job and get a salary. And as long as he works, fine. He lost his passion. That passion has been taken out from parents especially. Korean ajumma, very strong. 
even in this university, uh, I had a problem one time. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I had a problem one time, yes. Uh, I taught writing and uh, I uh, provided feedback to her, one of, my, one of the students. She got lots of stress. And you know what? Her mother called up to uh, English department, English language and literature department, and yelled at, who is a professor? Where we have a, we, we, where we have a three parks here. <laughs> Which park are you talking about? Park anyway, the Shokai. Shokai. <laughs> Oh, so uh, my, uh, she, my uh, assistant in the office <laughs> asked why. And she said, um, the way I uh, teach uh, English writing is terrible enough so that uh, her uh, <clears throat> daughter uh, is almost burned out. And she cried because of the stress. And uh, she would even criti criticize my face, <laughs> very uh, scary, and uh, talks on and on. And so uh, my assistant in the office had a hard time to protect me. I was hiding myself in the uh, office and uh, try not to be there. And uh, um, 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 and. And uh, not pick up the phone in the office and things like that. So those kind of uh, uh, things, you know, those kind of the uh, anecdotes are not exaggerated at all. In this campus, maybe even in the uh, university, um, we do have very uh, uh, complex, a lot of conflict with the uh, uh, students, okay? Uh, students are getting weird and weird and weird and weird. They talk about something which doesn't have logic at all. They only care about profit. Okay? Mm. Why am I telling this? <laughs> okay. So, hey, what I want to say, good question. So, for this work, if I do this one, Ah, uh, it takes a lot of work, you know. Uh, so maybe uh, you can uh, just uh, print out student writing and provide the feedback and give it to them. But the problem is, uh, well, if you don't copy it, you lost your data, which means that you cannot monitor your writing at all. Okay, but. If you save the data here and the code like that, although it takes more time, code like that, then that way you can uh, see, uh, obviously you can see uh, the, the data, the data and the development and things like that. Let me share uh, one, uh, uh, one data and uh, just uh, we're gonna have to take a break. Uh, recently, I, the, uh, I also cleaned the, uh, the hard drive uh, to save, and so uh, let's see, okay, I don't have one here, what I do have, what I do have, what I, so I'm kind of back and forth, I'm kind of confused here, but, uh, oh, okay. Uh, I think that I think that was very a uh, terrible experience. Uh, so, uh, uh, her, one of my students' mother, <coughs> excuse me later, but um, I was very scary to see her, and uh, I don't want to see her. The way uh, she uh, talked, always oh, very scary, and uh, very uh, dialect related. And things like that. What is that? No. I'm not Kaiseki. Oh, scary. Oh. So, uh, 
Uh, I'm writing a book. I'm writing a book uh, based upon uh, my uh, writing teaching, teaching experience. Okay, and so if uh, if uh, oh yeah, right here. So here, what you see is I wrote the data. I I kept the data starting from uh, when. Uh, oh no, overview. Let's take a look at the overview. So this is the time when I start. What? I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's like. Well, actually, I should. It should show the uh, not the previous one. Okay. And so uh, what else? Let's see. Maybe you you should see this one. The record, as far as the record is concerned. I'm telling you this because, um, yeah, right here. Uh, this one shows the uh, from the beginning to the end. Everything is right here. It talks about the uh, all of the student that has learned uh, writing from me, uh, starting from, uh, okay, uh, year of 2004. Uh, they did a pre and post test and the things like that. I got the data here, and so uh, starting from 65, mean score, 65 to 71. And the second, my second writing at Chanan University, and 61 to 82, okay? So uh, 65, 71, and uh, 61 to 82. So uh, I'm talking about two different universities. One, someone, are you familiar with the Summon University? Who is the uh, founder of the uh, Sammun University? Moon Sammyung, okay? And so it's like religious-based uh, university. And so uh, it's from 65 to 71, okay? And Chanan University, 61, 82. And so based upon that, I, at least I can compare. And then uh, again, Chanan University, 52, 59, and so, uh, and so I can get the uh, mean score like, like that. At Bugyong, let's take a look at the Bugyong. Uh, for the case of Bugyong, 6280, okay? And uh, graduate school, okay? Uh, yeah, here, 84 to 85. And that way I can see pre and post records of uh, it that way, and uh, so uh, let's take a look at one of the uh, most recent one. It has it has been developed a lot, and so uh, developed on and on and on, and so I see uh, uh, from pretest test one, post test, and things like that. That way, I can monitor my teaching uh, students' progress based upon objective criteria, assessment criteria. And so maybe I can find that um, uh, maybe I'm a, I'm a good, I'm a good uh, professor or a good writing uh, teacher. Or I'm here to help students to write better. I'm here not to be attacked by their parents. <laughs> I don't he hear terrible words from pa their parents. I have a human right. <laughs> don't give me terrible words. Oh. And so, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Chusoku, okay, Chusoku, okay, right here. Uh, I need a, uh, okay, so, uh, uh, as you can see right here, uh, this one, uh, I publish books uh, from my uh, teaching experience. And so, uh, as you can see, like qualitative inquiry series, the reason why I put the word qualitative here is I used MBIBO. MBIBO can be a tool to monitor to see a progress 
from the coatings. Arrow coatings, okay? So do you understand what should be coded? Based upon the project, what you are looking at. Um, and so, my final wording. Suppose that, um, suppose that uh, uh, if I click on the, uh, if I click on the, uh, if I click on the, uh, uh, 2023 uh, definition, I got Kim Dagyeong and blah blah blah. And so if I click on that, uh, uh, Kim Dagyeong is right here. And so uh, uh, maybe I could possibly, I could possibly uh, uh, code like that or with a paper and then code. But there are other ways of assessing students writing. Let me copy this one, okay? Let me copy this one. And where I, am I going? I'm going to uh, San Francisco. Oh, no, I'm not going to San Francisco. I'm going, uh, I'm going, uh, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm going. Uh, have you heard about the Grammarly? Yes. Yeah. If I click on that, mm -hmm. I can put this one right here. And as long as I put that, okay, first a new document and settings, you need to set up. Uh, oh yeah, it works. I paid, so it works well, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, cut and paste, cut, V, okay? I need to set up the, uh, I need to set up the, uh, right here, okay, general, knowledgeable, neutral, done. And so, you see the red part here, the red part, okay? And you see the score right here, 60 overall score. Mm -hmm. And the uh, reason why it says that is there are, so you see the red and green part here, the red and green part here. And the red part, uh, obviously critical error, it matters a lot. Okay, so the issues about new generation, what? Generation, gen, generation, and uh, uh, spelling error, okay? Recently in Korea, there are many, okay? If you click on that, there have been talks about tense agreement. It should be, yeah, present uh, perfect tense should be much, much better. And so that way, you could get instant, instant feedback from here. It takes, it takes just one click. And so the whole point here is, um, you see a uh, chat GPT, co-pilot, and many things are, you know, approaching our life and that, like that. And so why not? automated written corrective feedback. So those are the concerns of the, the researchers, okay? And so, uh, you know, if you take a look at this one, uh, makes sense, okay? If I click on that, internet, and what it shows one, this one has been improved version. Well, actually, I paid the money here, so they, uh, uh, to the special <laughs> things like that, and so uh, clear up the uh, comma, and uh, it should be past participle. That makes sense. So, not to mention of a word, but to mention of a whole context. It shows, it suggests the uh, uh, improvement. Okay, and so right now. Right now, my concern as a writing teacher for, uh, for 30 years is looking back to my providing feedback process. Um, well, student, well, I, I, I put the data like that. So it's not the paper and, paper, uh, and pencil based test, okay? My, my writing course. Students are expected to 
type their notebook or a tablet or whatever or mobile and send the written text to me by mail recently RMS okay and then I uh, print it out and then I provide the feedback by hand okay by hand and in a semester, if I teach three writing classes, uh, I'm gonna have around 75 or uh, students. What if they write four at least four times? Many, many papers to uh, provide the feedback. For some cases, our family moved to the another place and I forgot about that and uh, I was um, in my office providing feedback, grading and things like that and I returned home <laughs> no one is there <laughs> so what happened? and so I called up to my wife where are you? And I had a whole bunch of <laughs> uh, writing papers to carry with me. Why am I telling you this one? See, it's just so simple. And so, not to mention of me, how about having students to look at it every time they write something, every time they write something, on the spot, at least they can see what is wrong and what should be improved and things like that. Okay? So, uh, automated written corrective feedback um, has been in the center of the uh, writing research, okay? Because teachers can save time. Well, this can be used as a supplementary, not the main tool, okay? But at least, I think it works and it has been developing on and on, okay? So, uh, uh, my recent uh, research fo focus is on this and uh, I'm collecting the data uh, for uh, automated written collective feedback, uh, at, uh, especially at this semester. And uh, right here, if you can take a look at it, right here, this one. Uh, revision diary and you know, writing one. Those are students, uh, and uh, uh, this one is their writing, their actual writing, and this one, writing diary, okay? And so if I click on Kong uh, Subin, she talks about me, about her original writing, and uh, uh, her revised version, okay? This is, this is, this is from, from Grammarly, Grammarly okay? Mm -hmm. Grammarly provided her feedback and she revised. And so, based upon Grammarly feedback, uh, she marked here, uh, 45 errors, she uh, did not, did not use title, uh, spelling error, and things like that. So, like that at least she is aware of what is the problem, okay? And then, and then uh, she, uh, she was asked to write about the diary, okay? Firstly, I forgot to use the title, blah, blah, blah. And then again, she used the grammar to check the errors. And no error uh, was found about her writing one diary, okay? And then I asked my students for the research's sake to write about the comment on using Grammarly. So I am going to explain my opinion about using the program Grammarly for uh, revised uh, writing and uh, things like that. So what I'm gonna do for the research's sake I need to create the code, 
talking about grammar, okay? So benefits and disadvantages. And then maybe I can quote, right? Uh, firstly, I've never heard of the uh, program grammar, and of course, it's my first time using the program. My opinion about using the program grammar for revised writing is that it is useful enough to check my writing errors. And so maybe uh, I can put this one as useful and things like that. That way, that way I can create the uh, coding. And today, I provide the students my feedback, okay? Not grammar. Mm -hmm. And I ask, ask them to compare errors identified grammar and errors identified by me. And they need to talk about that, which is more accurate and blah, 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 things like that. I'm sure I'm much more accurate than the grammar. Mm -hmm. For the case of grammar, uh, it, it, it just focus on the uh, accuracy, okay? Grammatical accuracy. But my feedback covers uh, organization, content, okay, meaning. Uh, the grammar uh, can never take, can never get the meaning. They never tell you, tell you about the meaning coming from, uh, error, uh, problem coming from. Right. Uh, and so the next assignment is um, comparing me and grammar and their idea. So that way, that way, that way they, uh, you know, the, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I can uh, go to uh, here again, but. Uh, uh, just for the, uh, so, uh, and I heard one of my students in my writing uh, told her uh, classmates, uh, today, by chance, that uh, uh, sh uh, she uh, come in my class to to her, uh, her friend, um, talking about my uh, class. She says like, "Ge king bananda." Ge is like very king, pissed up. <laughs> So, uh, so if you, uh, let me show you just this one. This is the final, I think. Uh, Guaje section, uh, write one revision and diary, done. And there are quizzes, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, quizzes. Every time they uh, took the quiz, they got the right answer and things like that. And then they are expected to write a diary about it by using grammar. And so if you can take a look at it, uh, see, these are the whole list of the uh, <laughs> assignment. So, ke uh, king bananda can be quite understandable. But uh, I think students, uh, in terms of the, uh, well, uh, those students are what they call MG, okay? Uh, they are quite strange to me. And I might be quite strange to them, <laughs> but uh, we are strange with each other. Uh, but uh, at least my feeling tells me that for the case of writing class, because it's based upon the communication, willing to communication. So I, I feel some se sense of uh, belonging together. They try to be, uh, they try to open, okay? If not, I severely attack them, okay? <laughs> and <laughs> they hate me, but uh, because of the, uh, because of the grade, they are my slaves, okay? <laughs> and so I attack them 
every time they make mistakes, okay, to help them out, which they don't like at all. If you uh, take a look at the, uh, my teaching, what, as evaluation, assessment, <laughs> I might be one of the worst <laughs> professors in town. But, um, but uh, still, I enjoy teaching writing, okay? Uh, because of the MPO. That way I can see uh, their progress. I keep the record. And so, based upon my experience and data storage, I can write books on it. Talking about 25 years ago to now. Because I have data. Remember the data starting from 2004? Before, before that year, I was a part-time lecturer, okay? And so I provide the students feedback. Uh, but I could not save it digitally because I don't have enough time and I have to run through one university to the other and to make money and, and give it to my wife. And uh, if, if it is small, she punched me. <laughs> and so I begged my friends to give me a chance to teach. Uh, no matter what that is, writing? Great! Okay. Your question, sir? Uh, my question is concerning the items that he showed, he saw on the list of the, the errors. Are they provided by the Grammarly program or are they the. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Wow, wow, great. Good one. Uh, great question. So at the. Uh, uh, announcement section here, I provide the logic, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> uh, accuracy criteria for the progressive report. And so they are expected to hand in the, uh, that one. And so I provide the, the like that. When you hand in the progressive report at the end of the semester, actually for this class, not end, but one by one, you see the list, whole list of the, uh, uh, my chatting, okay, and uh, uh, use the attached file for the sake of reference. Also, the following are the detailed description of criteria evaluating the accuracy of your writing. First, grammar. Uh, 23 items are the major concern of the evaluation, noun, pronoun, and things like that. And uh, uh, second, contents, so meaning whether that makes sense or not. Word choice, usage, redundancy, and uh, these things like that. And uh, number three, organization, parallel structure, connectives, clear demonstration of introduction, body and conclusion, level of coherence, things like that. Those criteria were developed from ETS guideline and force, uh, who is the uh, writing instructor. Uh, he wrote many books about writing. And I merged them, and uh, I created, I merged their idea, and I create, created uh, myself here. And go back to your question uh, for the Grammarly. Uh, Grammarly uh, only uh, covers the, uh, this one, okay? Uh, the grammar section here. Uh, Grammarly does not cover, Grammarly does not cover content or organization. However, in the students' writing, I'm teaching intermediate level students. We are focusing on writing just one paragraph, okay? Just one paragraph. And when you write a paragraph, there should be a title in the middle. And uh, when you start a paragraph, you should put the paragraph indentation, okay? Do you think those are grammar, title, or not the grammar? Not the grammar. So that's why grammar cannot check this one. Mm. And for the case of title, you should be very careful. Okay, you should not write sentence there. You, you should write uh, a word or uh, 
a phrase, okay? And when you write a phrase, capitalization matters a lot. If that's the uh, functional words, uh, you should not capitalize, except in the beginning. And for the uh, meaning, uh, caring words, you should capitalize, okay? No matter where it is, in the beginning or in the middle or at the end. So those things will have be covered grammarly. So reason why I'm asking, I, I asked my students uh, to compare my feedback and grammarly feedback is that they will notice the difference. Grammarly only covers grammar accuracy. Whereas I looked at the, uh, uh, their writing as a whole uh, perspective. And so, uh, though uh, I expect a good comment coming from my students, that will be Sunday, this Sunday, and the due date is Sunday, 24 o'clock. But uh, I feel very uncomfortable about it because <laughs> they are very direct and strict, okay? And so maybe uh, uh, I should have take, taken, take a look at it. But uh, maybe uh, next time, one, uh, next week we are not going to meet here, okay? Uh, but two weeks later, maybe I can report <laughs> what's going on, okay? Sunday is going to be the toughest day of my life. Maybe uh, one of parents call me again and, uh, 니 누군데 이 새끼야? What? 니 누군데 내 딸을 괴롭혀 이 새끼야? So uh, uh, recently, uh, I... Uh, recently, I attend church, okay, to protect myself, okay, <laughs> not to meet such a weird uh, and bad mouth uh, parents anymore. And I always pray God to uh, protect me, okay. Anyway, so you are Simon, okay. Uh, Right, uh, you, you know, the, uh, I, rec I record the, uh, our conversation here so that you can review and uh, uh, at least you can grasp uh, meaning. Because we are not going to meet next week, I, I, can, I will provide you uh, with the assignment, okay? And so uh, these are the uh, articles, okay? And you should go to the articles and uh, uh, articles and uh, uh, add up not the whole year, but we got the data. And so uh, uh, by mail, I, I, I will send you the uh, English-related uh, database that I have. I will send it to you, and then. Uh, also, I will send to you the assigned journal, okay? And so if you uh, take a look at the end note here, uh, end note here, and let's say you, uh, uh, you are assigned to a Gyokgwa, Gyukha Gyeonggu, and things like that, and uh, let's say, just say uh, that you are assigned that Gyokwa, Gyukha, Gyeonggu, and no more than, no more that one, okay? Mm. Uh, for this case, I think uh, you should uh, add up from 2019 to 2023, okay? Like that. So, for some data is available uh, for 2021. And for this case, uh, English teaching, what you have to do is just add up 2022, 2023, okay? And where to go? You can go here. 
uh, they provide the uh, location here, okay? And so uh, if you click on it, you, sh you well, you should go there directly. And from there, you need to, uh, you know, do some uh, search there, okay? Where they have the whole list of the articles there, okay? And so, uh, as for the final comment, how many we got? We have to divide the, the number, okay? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 40. So how many? We uh, we have two, nine, seven. So how many <laughs> articles uh, for uh, uh, participants here? Five to six. Five to six. Okay. And so uh, I got the attendance set here. Okay. So I'm gonna make the list of it, okay? Make the list of it. Uh, who are assigned to uh, uh, I know uh, uh, Professor uh, Bass uh, name, but I do not know. Okay, so that Kang uh, Wonju Wonju. Wonju. The name of the city. Wonju. Wonju. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna assign you, okay, upon the list, okay? And so, let me uh, just do it. And uh, with this one, uh, and the uh, EndNote data, uh, English teaching, I'm gonna send it to you, okay? You know the assignment? Questions? Next. When we are assigned five to six journals. Five to six journals, yes. And are we searching for all the papers from the journal? Or no, uh, first of all, you need to take a look at the uh, EndNote first, okay? Let's say that you are assigned to English teaching. Uh, it has 2021. So what you have to do is to add up 2022, 2023. So for two years. You know, and that depends upon the assignment uh, article that you are assigned to. Uh, for the case of the, uh, uh, let me sorting this one as a year again. Uh, this is kind of somewhat uh, weird, but uh, oh yeah, again like this way or oh, twenty one. Okay, so uh, uh, that depends of the uh, that depends upon uh, the journal that. Uh, what kind of journal you are looking at? For the case of foreign language annals, uh, this is very uh, prestigious uh, one of the world, okay? And so for this case, we only got 2018. Uh, so we need 2019, 2020, 21, five years. Five years. Uh, so once you found the location, okay, let, let's see. Uh, foreign language uh, annals. If you click on the link there, you should go directly, but for some way it's a kind of weird. I'm sure in my office, uh, oh yeah. And so once you are get there, uh, try to find out the uh, ho journal's homepage maybe, where they have the whole list of the uh, articles. And then you can do the uh, work. Oh, you, this one, we did that before. Click on the tools, export citation, and things like that, okay? And then we can bring up to your uh, EndNote, okay? And so uh, uh, five journals per each uh, student, okay? If there is a journal foreign language annals, it must be published maybe 
between four to six or seven times of a year, then do you mean that we have to uh, download all the, the papers of the journal? No, no, no. And not, and not, okay? Uh, what we need is the uh, citation, okay? So we don't have to, uh, you know, download all uh, articles at all. What we just need is the title, abstract, and things like that. So and for all the papers published by under that journal. Right. Oh, all the papers. All the papers, yes. All the papers. Hmm? No matter what the topic is. No matter what the topic yeah, topic is. Yeah, yeah. All the papers. Yeah. All, the all the journals. The list, okay? Mm -hmm. Of course you can get the list easily, but the purpose of doing this is to be familiar mm -hmm. with the uh end note. If you uh, do this one uh, first, next time when you do you uh uh do, well, today we missed the uh, uh, SSSCI version of Web of Science search. We just missed because of the uh, technical problems. But Web of Science is a great tool because uh, you can uh, put the range starting from, uh, let's say, 2000 to 2025, 2024, 20, I'm sorry, and then you can search only for SSCI journal, which is very prestigious one. They will get you directly. And they do have annual system there. And you can directly transfer annual data to the end node. Yeah. So uh, I, I think SSCI is one of the uh, most uh, highly qualify the uh, papers in the world, okay? And so... Our assignment to make the EndNote file. To make the EndNote file? EndNote library file. That is the end of our assignment, not to... not up to the, the export or importing it to the end, to the end level. No, no, no. Just uh, have uh, EndNote data. At the least, okay? Mm. Okay. And the sources you showed, the journal sources, we can use Z sources, right? 40 sources for the journals. So we just count the journals' names. Out of the 40 journals, we will be assigned to 5 or 6 journals per person. Each. Each. You will be given the name of. Five, four, six, yeah, with the end note uh, data that I have, I'm gonna uh, let you know which part, uh, perhaps five journals you are assigned to. So you don't have to all of the uh, uh, journals here, but only uh, five, okay? And so uh, next week, uh, I hope you enjoy your uh, experience of searching and collecting the data to end node, okay? And, and if you uh, have a problem or if you are, if you are st stressful, uh, please don't tell your mother, okay? <laughs> mother, no, okay? Maybe you can tell your tell about it to your father. Uh, fathers are generous, okay? So maybe we can have a conversation, and, but uh, mother, no, no. No mothers, okay? Are you, are you with me? Yeah. Don't tell your mother anything about this class, okay? okay then. Yeah, okay, nice talking, and I'll see you, not next week, next, next but... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. And we are, before we meet again, we have to send back our assignment. Finish it. To, to